Well, hello. This is my first in the mini series on the long distance trains that I have taken. And we're going to start with my favorite train. Shouldn't have favorites, but they're all good rides. But my favorite train is the California Zephyr. Some tips for you travel tips. California Zephyr goes, they say, from Chicago to San Francisco, or from San Francisco to um, Chicago. It actually stops in Emeryville, but you have to take a bus over to, shuttle over to San Francisco. So I'm going to be technical about that. So some questions that come up about it and um, some tips. I've ridden it both ways. I've done round trip. Question number one. I'm only going to go one way. Which way is the best way? If you're only going to go one way, I would go east. That's where all the scenery is. Um, if it does not matter to you, here's another thing. If it does not matter to you about going the full distance, then the best place to go would be San Francisco, or Emeryville, Emeryville to um, Denver or vice versa. You can go west, get on at Denver. That's where the, the scenery is going to be right in there. Um, beautiful, the Rockies, Sierra Nevadas. It's all going to be beautiful in there before that, before you get to the Rockies, uh, to Chicago. You're going to be going through cornfields. There's nothing wrong with cornfields. If you want to see the United States, please go at it. I've never seen so many thousands and thousands of acres of corn in my entire life, uh, which was interesting to me. But it's um, going from Chicago to Emeryville. Um, it's over a day. It's a three-day It's a three -day trip. It's well over, over a day. That's most of the trip was cornfields. So, if you're only going to go one way, I would go, and you want to be excited in the beginning, I would go east. If you want to rest in the beginning and be excited towards the end, then go west. Because it's going to be in the plains, you're going to get nothing but cornfields. Where's a good place to get off? I'm going to go. I'm going to go both ways. Where's a good place to get off? I would say Denver. I would say if you don't, again, if you don't want to ride the complete distance, it doesn't matter to you. I wanted to go cross country, so I took the full trip. If you don't have to go the full trip, get on at Denver and go down, go west, or vice versa. But Denver's a good place to get off um, if you like the city. Lots to do there. Any place in Colorado is a good place to get off. I'll say that. So look on the map. If you don't like big cities, you want to go someplace a little smaller, there's some smaller sp spots um, that can accommodate you. Colorado's a place to get off. Now, number two, I will say, it goes to San Francisco. The train stops in Emeryville, then you take a shuttle over to San Francisco. I would suggest, and I say strongly suggest, staying in Emeryville. Emeryville is a small little town. Um, it's very clean. It's very friendly. It's easy to maneuver around the town. That's where the train actually stops. It's cheaper to stay there. I stayed in an Airbnb. Hotels are expensive. There are several hotels around the train station. You can walk to very easily. They're just right there at the train station. But I've done an Airbnb. I actually got an apartment, one bedroom apartment. Was uh, and it was on the bus line. Could take anywhere around. Um, it's like 125 dollars a night, I believe. And it was a full apartment. Um, that's that's a good deal. Then you can take the bus over to San Francisco and visit San Francisco. It's a whole lot cleaner, it's a whole lot cheaper, and you can just take the bus over to San Francisco. And it's closer to the train station when you have to leave. You don't have to worry about catching the shuttle or coming back. So that's what I would do, stay in Emeryville. Now on the train, it's the longest of the uh, long distance trains, so on the train, the question is coach or sleeper? I took sleeper both ways. I will say with the tracks, I did not sleep on the sleeper. It's my first time 
excuse me, my first time going on a train. Uh, tracks can be a little bit rough in the middle of the night, particularly if they're behind, they're going to go faster. Um, but I didn't like what I saw in the coach sections. Uh, and I'll say what I saw personally, the train that I was on going and coming back, the two different trains, but going and coming back, they weren't that clean as the other trains I've been on. So for me personally, coach would not have worked. And it isn't the longest train. A lot of people do ride coach. A lot of people do sleep in the lounge car. You don't have to stay in coach. People are in the lounge car. That's where the uh, scenery is. I lived in the lounge car. I was only in the sleeper just a few minutes. Tried sleeping in the lounge car because I do sleep better on a train sitting up and I found it to be kind of cold. Be sure to take an extra blanket on that particular train. So if money is a big issue for you, it can be done. Move around a lot. Walk around a lot if you're in coach or anywhere. Just walk around a lot to keep, um, keep your, your circulation good and you don't have swelling of the ankles and legs and that kind of thing. But uh, it can be done. It is the longest way. I personally would take a sleeper at least part of the way. I've done that before. You don't have to go all in one way or the other. You can um, say you want to take coach to, you're going one way. You want to take coach, you can take coach, say, to Denver, and then Denver get a sleeper, and the rest of the way get a halfway. You can mix it up how you want to. Which side, so that's another thing. Which side of the train is the best side to see the scenery? Lounge car. Lounge car. It's always the lounge car. That's the car that has the glass all the way around. That's where people stay. That's where people see. If you have your own roomette, um, it changes. The scenery will change. You'll you'll have good scenery. It'll be uh, you have good scenery for a while. I was on the lower decks. I saw mostly the Colorado River. I saw more things in the lounge car. So keep that in mind. Do they have stops? They have uh, several stops. You will stop in, I want to say four places, three or four places I know that you will stop and be allowed to get off and stretch your legs. Mostly around Colorado. Be sure to go to, let you go to Dave's Depot in Grand Junction. That's fun. Um, little place to go in, souvenir shop, place to get snacks. Meals are included. The meals were very good. This was uh, two years ago. The meals were very good on the California Zephyr. So right now, that's all the questions that I could think, the main questions. It is a fun trip. It is the most beautiful trip that I have taken. In my mind, it is that I was the most impressed with. If you have other questions, please put them in the comment sections below, and um, I will be glad to answer it. And until then, you know, happy rails.